Good morning. Almost afternoon. It, we got a late start to the day. Today I am planning on working on cleaning up the house because tomorrow is when our boat is being delivered to the marina. So we are gonna take you guys out on our maiden voyage on the boat. And then Friday is supposed to also be a nice day. So I think we're gonna be out on the boat maybe again that day. I don't think we're going swimming tomorrow. Maybe we'll go swimming on Friday. So today I'm working on cleaning, getting laundry done. And I have three different order pickups to do today, Sam's Club, Target and Walmart. And that's mainly for food for Father's Day because we are gonna have everyone here probably hanging out in the garage if it's gonna be rainy uh, for Father's Day. So we're gonna go pick up the food today. And tonight I think I'm gonna make the firecracker meatballs for dinner because we have a few HelloFresh meals. And since we're gonna be out on the boat Thursday and Friday, we're not gonna eat them then. And then Sunday we have food. So let's go see what we can get cleaned up. This is one of the spaces I really wanna get worked on because if we're gonna be out in the garage, people are gonna to need to use the bathroom. So we wanna make sure that this is picked up and looks nice. We'll go outside later. We gotta clean, you're gonna help me clean, right? These are our video games that I picked up from Yaya and Boompas. And we haven't plugged them in yet, but we're going to and have some classic gaming going on at some point. Also, Chayton decided to draw on our bench, so I gotta get that cleaned up. Are you stuck? Can you not get out? There you go, you got it. We've got the magic eraser, and we're gonna see how well the magic eraser does. That's pretty amazing. I have no idea how the magic eraser actually works, but it does. You want to use it? Let me just get... Wow, you really covered this whole bench, didn't you? Am I taking off paint? I can't tell because now it's looking even more splotchy. I think this is actually taking off the paint. I might have to repaint this. Note to everyone, if you have like a painted press board item do not use the magic eraser on it because it just pulls the paint off apparently this kid is hard at work helping mommy good job can i see it can i see it i want to do it again i want to do it again can i see it i'm a little sweaty i just put away a third load of laundry we've got the foyer cleaned up at least so I vacuumed it, put all the shoes away and everything. I even vacuumed the back stairs. And the shoes are all organized now. And I pushed all of the jackets to the side because we don't really need jackets right now. That is my morning, well, early afternoon accomplishment. I also got the bathroom cleaned up, although it just needed to be wiped down. So my next tackle after I eat I have a chicken Kiev patty in the air fryer. But I'm gonna tackle in here. I already started cleaning up the shelves a little bit and I gotta get underneath the stand because there's so much stuff under there, both garbage and toys. But this is gonna be my next project. And then hopefully I'll get into the kitchen, which isn't super bad, but it's just got a lot of kids toys and dishes to do. I asked Talon to do the dishes. He's like, I did. There's a bunch of dishes there. Oh, I did as much as I could. Okay, thanks, Town. You still have a pile of shoes here that are all orphan shoes, so I'm trying to find their match. At some point, hopefully, maybe once the kids' rooms are cleaned, we'll find them. So my chicken came out and it did not leak. So when I cut this open, it's gonna ooze out and it is so satisfying that I thought I would share. <laughs> Squirt it out. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. Halfway through and I found a bowl and a sock. And there's a whole bunch of, there's another bowl. What the heck? Why are the bowls underneath here? I'm just using them. Out. I do have the vacuum, but we do have all of the toys cleaned up. I'm gonna go get the little dust buster because I think that'll fit under here to get all that garbage. And this is our pile. 
of stuff that came out from under there. And another bowl. Where the, oh, there's a few things over here too. Fun times with kids. So the Dustbuster did not get under there. Also, I found more garbage. But I brought out the big guns, or Kirby with the hose. So that way it'll fit under there and actually get back enough. So I'm gonna do that. So clean now. I think before I clean up the toys that I pulled out, I may go ahead and take the couch apart and look for toys and stuff underneath. So I'm gonna make a pile of stuff I found under the, the entertainment stand and a pile of stuff from in the couch and I'll show you guys in the end. I also forgot about under the ottoman, although it's more crumbs than anything, but there are some light bright pieces that we've been missing because we only have two pieces in the light bright thing. By the way, this is nothing compared to the old school light bright that we used to use. So it's actually not too bad under this first part of the couch. Found Raven's phone and a whole bunch of balloons. So it wasn't too bad from in the couch. I did find two pacifiers and a remote control. And then as I said, Raven's uh, phone, bunch of socks and toys. It's pretty cleaned up. I'm just gonna vacuum and wash the frames of the couches. And then I will vacuum and wash the cushions and put them back on one by one. I've got the cushions back on the couch. Everything's been vacuumed and wiped down. My back is needing a break. I still have those pillows to do and the ottoman. Our Sam's Club pickup was ready like 20 minutes after I ordered and Target messaged me four hours ago that my order was ready and I just now got noticed that Walmart is ready. So I need to go pick that up. Chayton's over here making a huge mess with his puffs. And so on that note, I'm gonna head out of here. So if you're thinking of having kids, just know this is life with kids. As soon as you clean up one thing, there's another mess to go after. I just went onto the Target website and let them know that I'm on my way. So I'm gonna go to Target, then Sam's Club, since it's basically next door and then hit up Walmart, which I think my time frame is between six and seven. And they notified me early that was ready. So I don't know if I have an hour from when it's ready or an hour from, you know, my time frame or whatever, but I'm assuming they'll have it for when I get there. But three stores in one day, it is 5.54 right now. So. Let's see how fast it is to go to three different stores and get the items. So I was pulling up and I was driving in front of the store and I saw somebody come out with baby diapers and wipes and that was it on the cart. And he stopped and he looked around like he was confused. And I was like, as I was pulling into the parking spot, I'm like, I think that's me. So he was actually faster than I was. I don't know if it sensed that I was already here. And so it sent them a notification. I don't know or because I was just a little slower, I guess, to get here than what they had said. But I did want to also show one of my new masks that um, my friend Tanya made. I have another friend, Carrie, who makes them and she's making one for me too. So I don't have a filter in this, but I figured for picking up just to cover. So when I'm talking to the people that I'm picking up from, it's not, it's safer than just spitting all over them. So I'm gonna go ahead now and head over to Sam's Club, which is right there. And then I just need to let them know that I am there and I should have my stuff ready. I wasn't sure where to go, but I got a notice to meet an associate at the pickup counter inside. So Sam's Club is not a drive up, but at least I don't have to walk around the store a lot. So just walking in to pick up my items. Okay, so. Oh, I hooked this around my glasses to help it stay on. And it stayed on, obviously, pretty well. Um, so while it's not as convenient to do the ordering for Sam's Club, because you do still have to go into the store, it allows for minimal contact. They email you a receipt, and then um, they actually, they didn't scan the receipt. They just saw my name as one of the pickups. And so they just clicked that and then did their scanning thing. But I kind of like the drive up strictly, like just to drive up. 
and have them loaded. I just got to Walmart and someone's coming out with, I believe, my stuff. It is 6.30 and I am now on my way home. It'll probably take me about 10 minutes. So in total, it'll be about a 45 minute trip to do the three stores. It's nice to get it all done in one trip. So that way I don't need to go back out. I will say this mask is easy to breathe through. So I really appreciate that and it doesn't get hot, at least for the short times that I've been wearing it. I haven't worn anything in the store because I haven't been in the store yet. So I'm back home, got the freezer refrigerator stuff put away. I don't have the grocery stuff put away, but it is now 6.55, so one hour later. So an hour to do all that and to get the freezer refrigerator stuff put away. Not so bad. It probably will only take me 10 or 15 minutes at most to put away the rest. What do we have in our hair? <gasps> but a fruit snack stuck really tight in the hair. So we're gonna cut that out. <laughs> Should I give you a real haircut then too? Like a full haircut? Abby. We are gonna do an impromptu haircut on Chayton. It's his first haircut. But because he's got a fruit snack stuck in his hair, he needs a haircut. So first cut is to get the fruit snack out. Is this the, the uh, hair that we're gonna keep in a book for you? <laughs> Chayton, Chayton, Chayton. Take it, take it, take it. Hey, we're gonna see what it looks like when it's dry. It always looks so thin when it's wet. It's eight o'clock and I'm finally gonna start working on the firecracker meatballs. And it's got roasted green beans and sesame rice. That sounds so good. So let's get started. You get my bright light because I need some extra light at this time of day. So Ooh. firecracker meatballs. Let's go through our ingredients. We've got our scallions. Oh, there's the ginger. <laughs> ginger. <laughs> We've got mayonnaise and sour cream. Honey, we've got our sriracha sauce. We have our Korean chili flakes, our soy sauce. It's not quite labeled very well. Our sesame seeds, jasmine rice, ground beef, pinko breadcrumbs, and the green beans. And one of these days I will put the ingredients in order as they appear on here. First step is to adjust the rack to the top position and set the oven to 425. Right now Talon has pizza in there, so he still has 15 minutes on it. So I will take care of it when his pizza comes out. We have to wash and dry all produce, trim and thinly slice the scallions. We separate the whites from the greens and mince the whites. And then we're gonna peel and mince the ginger. Oh, the scallions got me. Yeah. There's a clean naked boy with the fresh haircut. Not naked, you're wearing a diaper. Yeah. For Hi. Hey. How are you? Oh no, mommy's mohawk. I mean, no. his mohawk is gone. That's okay. That's why his hair is gonna look cute in a faux hawk or in a ah. normal haircut. Oh, yeah. I didn't do too bad. Now we're gonna make the firecracker sauce. So in a large bowl, we're gonna combine the mayonnaise, sour cream, honey, two teaspoons of the soy sauce, and sriracha to taste, which means all of it. 
and we're gonna set that to the side. We're gonna heat a drizzle of oil in a small pot over medium high heat, add half of the sesame seeds, cook stirring until golden brown for one to two minutes, then add the rice, three quarters cup of water, and a pinch of salt and bring that to a boil. Cover and reduce to a low simmer until it is tender for about 15 to 18 minutes. And we're gonna keep it covered until it's ready to serve. Next, we're gonna form the meatballs while the rice cooks. So in a large bowl, we're gonna combine the beef, the panko breadcrumbs, the ginger, the scallion whites, and the remaining soy sauce as well as about a half a teaspoon of salt and some pepper. And we're gonna make those into about 10 to 12 one and a half inch meatballs. Next, we're gonna roast the meatballs and green beans. So we're gonna put the meatballs on one side of a lightly oiled baking sheet. And on the empty side, toss the green beans with some oil, salt, and pepper. And we're gonna roast that on the top rack until the meatballs are cooked through and the green beans are brown and tender about 14 to 16 minutes. One thing I like about our new oven is that you just have to type in the numbers for setting the oven temperature and for timers instead of having to sit there and hold that button to have the temperature and timers go up and down. So that is definitely a bonus. Then once everything's cooked, we just need to finish and serve. So we fluff the rice with a fork, season it with salt and pepper, divide it between the bowls or plates, Carefully add the meatballs to the bowl with the sauce, and we're gonna to toss that to coat. Top the rice with meatballs and drizzle with any remaining sauce. Serve the green beans on the side. Garnish with the scallion greens, which I hope I remember, and the remaining sesame seeds, and then chili flakes to taste. So this is our final product, and it smells so good. It smells like it has a little bit of kick. We added some of the chili flakes, we got a little bit of sauce to try dipping our green beans in. I'm really excited for this. I want to go eat. Let's see what the Spice Master thinks of the food. I wouldn't say Spice Master, but... Well, Spice Fanatic. Are the meatballs cooked through? I think so. Okay. Mama? <laughs> you don't look too convinced. <laughs> I'm waiting for the heat. Oh. It's like no heat. What is this? like? Try what some did it say it was? Korean spice. But I mean like, does it add or is it just like paprika? <laughs> or it's just for like looks. <laughs> just paprika. It's just paprika, okay. it's not spicy. Okay. Let's try this. I think they did. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's much of a kick. No? Man. Well, they call it a firecracker? Yeah, firecracker meatballs. It might have a little bit of heat, but not, okay. well, nothing that we'll really see stands out. We'll see what it's like. How did the green beans cook? Are they tender? Mm -hmm. Good. You want to try a green bean in the sauce? <laughs> Probably not All if right, it's... Here. <laughs> Maybe something like as simple as a green bean might bring out the spice more. Mm-hmm. No. Not really. Okay. <laughs> it's good, but... But not, not spicy. I was, I was expecting spicy. Yeah. I like spice. I don't feel like I do as spicy as Kevin. So let's see what it tastes like to a normal tolerating <laughs> spice person. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's um hold on Ray. I feel a little warmth in the back of my mouth, like on the back of the tongue and but it's not it's not spicy. But it kinda has the illusion of spice. <laughs> so if you like the illusion of spice but not really spice. What does that mean? <laughs> like it's got the flavors of spice without the heat. Does that make sense? <laughs> mm, the green bean cooked through really good. I'm gonna try some of the spice just flat out. <laughs> Yay! 
Yeah, it's it's warming, but it's not super spicy. I do like it though. I'm gonna add some more. Pour some of my sauce on the green beans. <laughs> I think the the sauce, the creaminess of the sauce is really good, and it adds like another level. So although they're not spicy, I do like the flavors. I do think that I would do these again. Next time, what I would do, I do this slightly out of order. I would prepare the meatballs and the green beans and get them on the sheet pan. And then I would make the rice and then put them in. That way it comes to gather at the same time because the rice was done way before and it was just sticking to the bottom of the pan and it was waiting too long. So I definitely would do that next time. But the cleanup was nice because when everything was cooking for the 15 minutes that it needed to, I got to do the dishes. So it was pretty, pretty well timed at least for that. So I would give this one a do it again. Unicorn chicken, yes. Yes. My nose did start running after I finished and I wanted something sweet, so I grabbed an ice cream bar. Cool the heat down a little bit. Grocery pickup from three different stores, an impromptu haircut, and a late night firecracker meatball, plus cleaning up the house. And that couch is a lot of work. <laughs> but it was a great day. We're gonna get some rest because tomorrow is our first day out on the boat and we're taking you guys with us. So stay tuned. But until then, we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker.